So you have some links on your website and you want to know if visitors are clicking them. You have come to the right place because in this video, I will explain how to track link clicks with Google Tag Manager, how to send that data to Google Analytics 4, and then how to build a sample report. Here I have a demo Google Tag Manager container and inside that container, I have installed Google Analytics 4. In this video, I presume that you already have done that. If you haven't, then I will post a link below the video to another tutorial where you can learn how to install GA4 with GTM. Also, I have a demo website where I have several link clicks. So let's see how can you track them. The first step would be to go to Google Tag Manager, then go to variables and make sure that you have enabled click related variables right here. If you haven't, then go to configure and then enable all click related variables. Then go to triggers, then click new. And in the trigger configuration, select just links. For now, let's keep this trigger as it is. And we will name this all link clicks. Click save. Let's test if this is working so far. Click preview, then enter the URL of the page where you have links and click connect. Now I will click the first link, the second and the third link. I will do that by holding the control key on my keyboard so that links are opened in a new tab. First click, second and third. I don't need these tabs, so I will close them, but I will go to the preview mode and see what is happening there. Here, I have three link clicks. I can click on any of these, then go to variables and see what kind of click information is available. So the first link has a class menu link, then it does not have the ID, but we have text and URL. Then if I choose the second link click, I see that the class is still the same, but the text is different and the URL is different. And if I go to the third click as well, the menu link class is the same, but click text and click URL are different. So what I see here is that all three links have the same click class. That's why I could make my trigger more precise to fire the tag only when click classes equals or contains menu link. That way I will be sure that the Google Analytics tag that I will create later will fire only when one of these links is clicked. It is possible that in your case, the link might not have the class. Maybe it will have the ID then try using that. If your links don't have ID or class, then you would need to go more advanced and learn a topic called CSS selector. It is a more complex topic and that goes out of scope of this tutorial. But I have a separate module about this topic in my intermediate slash advanced Google Tech Manager course. I will post a link to the course below the video. So let's make our trigger more precise. I will copy menu link and then go to Google Tag Manager and edit the all link clicks trigger. Instead of all link clicks, I will select some link clicks and click classes must contain menu link. Then let's rename the trigger and click save. Now let's go to tags and I will create a new tag which will send an event to GE4. Let's click new, tag configuration, Google Analytics, GA4 event. Here I will paste the measurement ID of my GA4 property and you can find that by going to Google Analytics, then admin, then data streams, select website data stream and copy the measurement ID right here. Then go back to Google Tag Manager and paste the ID. Just make sure that this ID is the same as in your main Google tag in this container. Then the event name, we can name this whatever we want. For example, link underscore click. Then the event parameters, because just sending the link click is not enough. We want to send some additional data. What was the link that was clicked? What was its text? What was its URL? So we can do that with event parameters. Click here, then add parameter and enter link text. This is a known parameter to Google Analytics. So it is marked like this. This means that Google Analytics recognizes this parameter and you will be able to use that parameter in your reports. Then we can also send link URL. If you want it, you can also send link classes and link ID as well. But in my opinion, you should send at least link text and link URL. Then the values. In Google Tag Manager preview mode, if you click the link click event, you will see that we have variables that contain some values. For example, this is the class. 
ID is empty, but maybe in other situations it would contain something, then we have text and URL. So we could insert these variables as values. And when Google Tag Manager fires this tag, it will take dynamically the value of the variable, for example, click URL, and send it to Google Analytics 4. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and in the value field, click the variable button. And first I will be working with link text. That's why I will select click text. Then for link URL, I will select click URL, then click classes, and then link ID, which will be click ID. In the triggering section, click anywhere and select the link click trigger. Finally, let's name this tag. This is my naming convention, G for event, and then the name of the event. Click Save. Let's test if this is working. Click Preview. The preview mode has connected. Now, if I go to the website and click the first link, then the second link, then I will close these tabs. And if I go to the preview mode, I will see those two link click events right here. I select the first one and I see that my tag fired. Right now, when I'm recording this video, there is a bug in Google Tag Manager preview mode. Sometimes it shows tags as unknown tag type, but this is not affecting the actual execution of the tag. So the tag should still work fine. After a while, this will fix itself. And then if I, let's say, refresh the preview mode, it would start showing the correct tag type. But the fact that the tag has fired does not mean that everything actually went smoothly. We still have to check if the data reached its destination, which is Google Analytics 4. We can do that by going to Analytics. Then in the admin section, select Data Display and Debug View. And here you should see the events. Here is the link click. If you don't see anything right here in the debug view, then I have a troubleshooting guide and I will post a link to it below the video. If you click the link click event, here you will see what kind of parameters were tracked. And among those parameters, we see things like link classes, link text, and so on. So this is working fine. Now, if I go to the website and try to click something else, for example, I don't know, this link right here. And if I go to the preview mode, you will see that the link click event still happened. That's because Google Tag Manager will still make all link clicks visible in the preview mode. But if I click this link, you will see that, that the tag did not fire. That's because our link click triggers conditions were not met. This link click did not happen on the menu link, which is right here. So once you have tested that everything is working properly, you should publish these changes. You can do that by clicking submit, then entering the name for the version, for example, link click tracking, and then hit publish. From this moment, these changes will go live to your website visitors. If you want to see the link click data later in your GE4 reports, you will need to wait for at least 24 hours, ideally 48 hours, because GA4 requires more time to process the data. Now, if you're wondering how to see that link click information later in your GA4 reports, here's one of the examples. I haven't waited 24 hours to process the data, but a while ago I was actually doing some tests and I actually already have some test link click data. So let me show you how to build a sample report. Let's go to Google Analytics, then Explore, then select blank. And let's say that we want to see a list of links that were clicked and that list should show the link text. To do that, we should click the plus in the dimensions section and then select link text, click checkbox, and then we will filter down just to a particular link click event. That can be done with the event name dimension. So click this checkbox and import. Then in metrics, we will go simple and we will just enter event count click the checkbox and then import. Now I will double click on link text and then double click on event count so that they would be added to the report. Right now this report shows the data of all events even if they were not related to clicks. But we can narrow down and see only link click information. So this can be done in the filters section. Click right here, then event name 
and we want to see only data of those events where event name exactly matches link click and click apply. Right now, no data is here because as I've said, I haven't waited 24 hours until GA4 processes the data, but I've tracked some of these events in the past. That's why I will just select a longer time period, for example, last 12 months, and then click apply. And here you will see the link texts and how many times each link was clicked. These three links are related to the links right here. And these texts are related to some other tests that I was performing a while ago. But I hope that you get the idea. And that's how you can track link clicks with Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.